Ryan, any tips on getting over a breakup? My self-confidence is shattered. It's been about a month. I was with the chick for seven years. Easy answer for that one. Uh, sleep with four more girls. And if you can't sleep with four more girls right away, then you have your idea on tips on getting over a breakup. The gym's a nice start there. The gym in the kitchen. What do you think, Carl? Well, I think it's always good to actually just get back out there. And if you've... Uh pulled a relationship special and added a lot of weight, a lot of lost a bit of muscle, stop taking care of yourself, just dial up your self care. If you look at what happens with people who are depressed, mm -hmm. it's usually the self care that goes first. So that's like one major thing is to just kind of start hitting that, that um, those self care routines that you do, like make sure your uh, clothes are clean, your body is clean, you're well groomed, you're hitting the weights, you're eating good food. And, you know, right after a breakup, that's always going to be a hard time to get over. And one of my things is I like to pull a Stalingrad special whenever uh, I've had a breakup like that after a period of time, which is you basically take all of her stuff and everything in your apartment that reminds you of her and you get rid of it. Oh, yeah, I saw that episode of Friends. It was really good. And then you might end up hooking up with some firemen. That'll be good. You know, my whole reasoning behind it is a lot of the time you're when you're in a relationship with someone, you develop a lot of shared routines and things that remind you of them. And then when that relationship ends, it's not so much that that person is gone. It's more like you have a lot of routine and they're built around a cooperative existence with that person. Though so I know guys were like, yeah, I haven't watched a Game of Thrones, finished Game of Thrones yet. And I'm like, why? Well, I used to watch that with my girl when we broke up, and I haven't watched Game of Thrones since season four. Because that was oh, an amazing thing. So it just kind of helps with, um, it just helps with kind of clearing your mind. And, you know, if you're a guy and you live together and she moved out of the apartment, you don't want to uh, bring a girl back to an apartment that has a chick who lives here written all over it. And you know what I mean by that. Oh God, yeah, do you think bathroom? Girls will, girls will chickify your apartment in a nanosecond. The worst part of the chickification process, it, it, it always starts with the useful stuff too. Oh yeah, it, nothing ever works unless there's some, you, like they have to sneak it in, that Mott and Bailey. So they will start with like useful stuff, like, hey, I noticed you didn't have a can opener in your kitchen, I bought you one. Um, you know, hey, I noticed that the air freshener in the bathroom was empty, so I bought you a new one. You know, that type of stuff. And you can't really be like, no, I'm not having an air freshener, because that's the whole thing. If it was useless shit, you could just tell the girl, like, here's a bag with all the stuff you brought over. Please take it with you. I don't want any more stuff in my place. Yeah. But it's useful. So it feels, you can't really just throw it away either. Well, that's what I've seen. It starts with that super useful stuff. Then it starts with the the nice to have, but things you would never buy, like bath bombs or dumb shit like that. But it's not useless, and you'll probably use it. And you'll be like, yeah, it's not bad. I'd never buy it, but if it's here, I'll use it. And then that's when you get to the segue with uh, potpourri scented tampons by the caseload, Kirkland signature signature on the back. Yeah, so it's uh, kind of just clearing all that stuff out. I found that works really well in a breakup and also delete their contact on every kind of social media so you're not tempted to contact them when you're drunk. Oh, I can't recommend that one more. Do not do that. I have been the rebound guy there when she gets those messages. Don't do it, man. I guarantee. Because <laughs> at least two people will be laughing at it once you send that thing at 2.30 in the morning, pouring your heart out, laying your soul on the table, Meanwhile, some dudes buck naked there, just chuckling. <laughs> yeah, I've been there too, and it's just not a good look for you, period. So I would just go with that one and just kind of remove the things that remind you of her for no other reason than you don't want to be constantly reminded of this person who's no longer in your life. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and I will say this, so judging by the Abby picture, if I'm looking correctly, you're wearing a flannel jacket with a blue dress shirt underneath. Yeah, like, step up your game, get back out there. Get one under you that you don't like. Nothing is more fun than having having a, a date with a girl that you don't like, but is still somewhat attractive. I don't know what it is, it's just kind of freeing. You can really do whatever you want because you don't really care, you're not invested. 
Yeah, I mean, that's 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 the best thing about it. Like all the things she wanted to do for those seven years, but uh, she didn't like or she didn't want to do. Get a girl who you don't really like and do all that stuff too. <laughs>